Well, the San Antonio Zoo, did you know this, was one of the very first cageless zoos in the entire country. It was the first to receive accreditation from the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, something that only about 10% of all exhibitors receive. It was also the first to build an amphibian conservation center, and they're now mm -hmm. working to make that one of the best in the country, in North America as well. But what does that mean to us, and why should we care? Well, here's Evie Ramos with a story you'll see only on 4. It's evening on the island of Puerto Rico, and you can begin to hear the call of the tree frog, or coqui. That's how you know the night is beginning, and it's, it's a very beautiful thing to watch the sunset on a beautiful Puerto Rican beach or in the rainforest and listen to the chorus of the coqui is start to blossom. Jennifer Stabile is a research and conservation biologist who has studied the coqui for more than a decade. It's a, it's a beautiful sound. It's a beautiful culture. The coqui frogs are only found in Puerto Rico. Yet here we are today at the San Antonio Zoo where our cameras arrived just in time. Two coqui frogs are mating. Yes, this is quite an experience. This is very difficult to see because these are nocturnal. So unless you're up in the middle of the night and you're wandering <laughs> through El Junque, you don't usually get to see this happen. Many San Antonians are unaware that the San Antonio Zoo works on many conservation projects. In fact, the zoo is in the build-out and fundraising stage to completely make over their conservation building, making it one of the best in North America. San Antonio Zoo is actually um, a spectacular facility and one of the best zoos in the United States. That's why Stabile came to San Antonio last summer, bringing along with her her work with the coqui. While there are 17 species of coqui in Puerto Rico, three are already extinct and 11 others are listed in some critical standing. And we are working on trying to figure out what's causing the population to decline and what we can do to mitigate that. With a population of more than 25,000, the Puerto Rican community forms the second largest Latino group in the San Antonio area making the San Antonio Zoo the perfect spot for Stabile's research. This is the Puerto Rican crested toad on exhibit here at the San Antonio Zoo. The goal is to have the coqui frogs here on exhibit as well. But that's just the beginning, because when it comes to conservation efforts, the zoo wants to go from 10 research programs to upwards of 50 species once they finish expanding the conservation building. Something Stabile explains should be more important to us all. Um, not only are amphibians and important because they're indicator species, meaning that they're telling us what's going on in our environment, but they're, they're a very important part of the ecosystem and the food chain, and as we continue to lose our foundation, everything else can crumble on top of that. That's cool. If you would like to learn more about the Coqui or the conservation efforts there at the San Antonio Zoo, just go to our website, news4sa.com.